OCD in children, was it my fault? I mean, one of the biggest and hardest things really for us to deal with when we have got a child diagnosed with OCD is we blame ourselves. If you're anything like me, you just blame yourself on so many levels. Uh, one of the things that started to trigger the blame game with me was when the psychiatrist said to me, you've probably passed OCD on to your child because I hadn't really realised or thought about the fact that OCD can be hereditary, meaning you can pass it on through your genes to your child. So this didn't help here in this because when they were younger, I realised that I'd inadvertently recruited them to my own OCD rituals. I wouldn't say that I had the full disorder because it wasn't ruling my life like it did with my daughter. But nevertheless, I was sort of carrying out compulsions uh, to reassure myself. Things like checking that tongs were switched off or the cookers were switched off or light switches. And sometimes I can't remember saying to them, oh, can you go and check and make sure that I've switched it off? So OCG can be genetic, I can, it can actually be learned by learned behaviour as well. And also, there's the fact that you blame yourself, you think, well, why didn't I notice these signs, especially if I was an OCD sufferer myself? Why didn't I pick up on early signs? What are early signs of OCD? Well, things like doing something over and over, keeping areas of your body covered up, taking longer to get ready, avoiding going out, avoiding people, avoiding places. There were so many things that sort of are signs of OCD, but sadly, very often they creep in before you've noticed them, meaning that OCD has gone got really critical by the time you actually notice it and get it diagnosed. So I guess the message and the point of this video is just to be mindful. If you've got OCD traits yourself as a parent, as a mum, then try and ensure that you're not recruiting your children. If you've got to carry out these little checks, for your own peace of mind, we'll do it, but just do it without them watching you and certainly don't ask them to do it with you. So if you have actually, uh, you do suffer with OCD traits, just be mindful of it and just be on the lookout for OCD signs and then don't do like I did. Again, I suppose it was due to the fact that I am an OCD sufferer myself. I recruited, I got recruited. I was doing all sorts of compulsions for my daughter's OCD that I call Hank in the belief that I was doing the right thing and calming my daughter but it actually made the situation a whole lot worse. So my tips would be, if you notice your child is doing something over and over again, uh, to a regular pattern and consistently around a time when they're becoming anxious, sit down and have a chat with them and then get them di an official diagnosis. And then that way you can actually find out whether they need medication and you can start the, also the ERP, uh, exposure response prevention therapy, because that's the only thing that will tackle head, uh, OCD head on and help your child manage OCD behaviours. All right, so I hope that's helped on OCD in children. Why do we blame ourselves? It made you feel just a little bit better that somebody else has maybe gone through the same thought process as you and ways you can deter yourself from feeding OCD in children. So that's it for day four. I'll see you on the next video.